Santa Fe Street near the railroad tracks in East Dallas. We find a strangled Hispanic female there who's had her clothes torn off of her. They swabbed her. And all of the swabs tested positive for the presence of seminal fluids. The call was on a dead body that was found at a construction site. She was hidden behind mounds of dirt that were there. She also was left partially nude. After the DNA results came in, that confirmed it. This is the same killer. Six months passed, a year passed, and this individual did not strike. Was he gonna hit again? I felt that he would, and uh, it was just a matter of time. The victim was found at a garage. She's displayed on the hood of a car. After having been brutalized by someone, she's completely naked. The victim's name was Veronica Hernandez. There it was. We realized that he was still out there. We were looking at the same individual. There's no doubt in our mind. The media made it run like wildfire, and an anonymous caller called in a tip that this particular suspect that he had seen with this third victim was actually wearing a mechanic shirt. And on the shirt, he had his name, Jose. And sure enough, there was an individual in that shop named Jose where the body was found. And that's how we ended up with Jose Cifuentes on our radar. He was a 21-year-old. I think I was 26, maybe 25. I mean, we were not far off. He said he was from Mexico. I'm like, hey, I was born in Mexico. It kind of breaks the, the tension. And there's something that we, connects us. He told me this sob story that, man, I wouldn't hurt a fly. I would never kill a chicken. It was that cat and mouse, you know, game, see how much you know. And I said, you know what? I know you took her. He finally told me that he took her to that shop. He said, she fought. And he said, I silenced her. I went and told the little detective, hey, this guy just confessed. The problem was that after Cifuentes had been jailed, he turned around and made bond. At that time, the bond was set at 100,000. To me, it's, it's kind of low. All you have to do is post 10%. So his sister posted the bond. I inappropriately assumed I had the luxury of time. So we go back to an investigative mode, and we're looking for the guy. His sister tells us he's fled back to Mexico. We spent a lot of time looking for him, but not finding him. Then here, years later, homicide detectives think they have found uh, this guy, Jose C. Fuentes, on Facebook. Uh, he created a Facebook page. It seemed implausible, but it was the truth. FBI and Interpol and the folks down in Mexico City put together a, a surveillance team. He was arrested on, uh, never forget it, April 25th, 2019.
It's been two decades, and if we can put a familiar person in front of him, he's more likely to divulge information. Jose? Sí. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. ¿Te acuerdas de mí? Sí. You have to gain their trust, and one of the best ways is see if you can give him something. And I gave him the picture of his wife. Te una foto. It usually builds report. ¿Cómo consiguió esta foto leak? Leak. That is the short term for licenciado in Spanish. A licenciado, it's somebody with a title. So it was like, uh, you know, I respect you. Okay. Gracias, Lee. The reaction to the, the photo of his wife was instant. It was like, from the minute he walked into the room, Juan Salas, he reached into Cifuentes and just grabbed his soul and like broke it open. It wasn't a question, it was more an affirmation. How many have you killed? I want him to know that I already know the answer. Ah, sí, una chava de la... No, pues esa yo la salió de un bar y la seguí. Ok. Yeah. Y ya, pues, le pedí que tuviéramos relaciones y pues sí dijo que sí, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, ok. ¿Tuviste ahí relaciones? Ajá. ¿Y qué pasó? Ya después como que... Ah, pues yo le dije que le iba a pagar y le dio coraje que no, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces empezamos a, a discutirle, uh -huh. La agarré de aquí del cuello, ¿verdad? Okay. Y pues la apreté ¿verdad? hasta que se asfixió. Y ya después como que pasó eso, me asusté, pues agarré el carro y me... O so, tú más o menos en tu mente sí sabías que estaba muerto. Sí, sí, sabía. Okay. I remember the day, I'm getting goosebumps right now thinking about it. You work on something that long and to have it culminate in that way is a tremendous feeling of accomplishment. Okay. Después, después de esta, pasó otra vez. Ajá, otra vez. Era de mesera. ¿Y qué pasó esa noche? Igual y pues hice lo mismo que con ella, ¿verdad? El coraje. Me arrepiento por todo lo que ha hecho. Le pido perdón a Dios. Jose Fuentes, he killed three people, and he confessed to it. That's the icing on the cake, because I knew that he was facing minimum three life sentences. He's not coming now. Hernandez's daughter gets on the stand and looks at him and her eyes kind of explode and she points at him and she says, I remember you. You were at my mother's funeral. He estado ahí, en las últimas bancas del funeral. O sea, algo que te quita tu mamá, todo el tiempo vas a tenerlo ahí, eso nunca se te borra de la mente. <laughs> 